Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to show you a new application that I've been messing around with for a couple of days now and have been really, really fond of. Now, this is the beta of Affinity Photo. Now, Affinity Photo can be seen as sort of a, a Photoshop competitor. So it's directly going after uh, Photoshop's photo manipulation features, which is what Photoshop is primarily used for. And it's a really great, nice interface. Now, what's awesome about this application is though even it's a beta, I found it to be running really smoothly and there's some really exciting, cool things about it. So now this isn't gonna be totally comprehensive because there is going to be a separate Affinity Photo series coming out once the application is available. I'm working on creating that right now. So in the meantime, check out this beta video and get excited for Affinity Photo. So this is Affinity Photo. I have booted up the beta of Affinity Photo here and what's really great is that they have this welcome startup panel you know that you might be used to with most uh, of these applications. I know Sketch, Photoshop, they all have these startup panels, right? Uh, what's cool is that, you know, like most, you can uncheck this to show it startup, but I, I actually really like it. You can open a new document directly from here. You can close this, whatever. Uh, but one thing I really, really liked about this beta, and I'm not sure if this will include in the standard version of Affinity Photo or not, but they have this sample section right here. So what we can easily do is click samples, and what's cool is that there are three samples created by Neil Ladkin, who basically is a, an experienced commercial designer, you can check out his uh, Behance profile from this link. Uh, but he's created these files and what they are, are essentially really nice uh, photo manipulations that are done in Affinity Photo. And they give you an opportunity to just sort of explore how things are done with Affinity Photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this first one, which is really just a, uh, it's a, it's a woman here who's, the color's been modified. It has a lot of little elements. It's motion blur, some foreground, background stuff. Okay, so as you can see, here is our document. Now what's great about this application is it shouldn't feel too unordinary to anybody who's used to working in Photoshop. All your stuff is, is right pretty much where you'd expect it. You have your standard tool options on the left here. Now there's a lot of tools, and like I said, I'm not gonna go over a lot of stuff in here. This isn't necessarily a tutorial. It's more of a, a preview of this application. Uh, but as you can see, the stuff that you're used to being here is here, you know, our, our flood tool, our paintbrush, our eraser, dodge. And as you can see, you can get more options just by clicking and holding which should be something that you're totally used to. Uh, I think that might be my favorite part about Affinity Photo is how right at home it feels for those who uh, are used to working a lot in Photoshop. Things just feel comfortable and, and sort of where they should be. I'm also really impressed with how this runs. It opens quickly. Uh, every sort of process I've done has been just really smooth and quick. And although I'm on a pretty nice system here, uh, I just haven't had any sort of noticeable uh, slowness or anything like that. It's just been a really nice experience. Now, another thing that's really great about this application uh, that's even better than uh, Sketch App, which is something I've been using a lot for as an Illustrator replacement. So as a, a Photoshop replacement, this does a much better job of actually being a replacement because it can open PSDs. Now to illustrate that, I'm actually gonna drop in this uh, old PSD I have. Essentially, uh, I turned a crew member of mine into a Santa Claus here by hastily using uh, a brush tool and drawing over it. So obviously not photo manipulation of the year. I did all the painting in one layer, but as you can see the layers, which are over here under the layers tab, uh, they came in just as they were in Photoshop. We can, uh, you know, 
obviously deselect this layer here, uh, which is all of our paintbrush. So as you can see, it handles uh, PSDs just fine. Okay, I'm not going to save this. And let's come and check out this. One of my favorite things about this application is just how uh, they focused on things that make your life sort of easier. For instance, let's say we wanna see this rose petal. We can double click the thumbnail here and it zooms us directly to that particular rose petal. Uh, likewise, we can select any of these little thumbnails and it's going to take the viewport and fit it to the size of the thing that exactly we're trying to see. Now another little thing I like is that in the blending modes, uh, which are what you would expect, right? We actually have a really neat thing here, which uh, might not seem like a big deal, but I've already found myself really, really liking it. When you hover over the blending mode, you're getting a preview of what it's actually gonna look like. So no more essentially uh, checking through blending modes to sort of uh, find the exact fit you're looking for. I know a lot of times you know exactly what you want for blending modes, but sometimes uh, it's really nice to see this, this preview and just sort of get an idea of maybe what uh, the, the difference might be. It's also a nice tool for educating uh, the difference between these blending modes, right? As you can see, uh, some of them are just a little bit different. So obviously darken and darker color just have a little bit different. And so going between these two, uh, it could be really super nice to have that, um, to have that preview there. Other than that, layers are something what you like, what you'd expect in Photoshop. We again have essentially folders of layers that can, which are essentially groups, right? Where you can uh, have layers within layers. You can have blending modes, masks, that kind of stuff. All sorts of non-destructive editing stuff. And you can see there's a layout tab. So once we have something like this uh, selected, let's say if we wanted to have for some reason, a bezel and emboss, right? Uh, obviously you wouldn't want to do that, but if we want to throw a bezel and emboss on here, we could have this uh, and emboss this photo. But as you can see, it's affecting the current layer. So like I said, this isn't a in-depth on Affinity Photo, but it should give you a nice idea of just how capable it is. Uh, there's a lot of really nice features in here. The interface is great. Everything feels snappy. And even for a beta, I haven't found a whole lot of issues that I've had with this. You can even browse stock photo sites directly from the app. Using this beta gets me really excited for the full version that's going to be released. If you check out their website, which I'll put a link in the description, you can actually apply for the beta yourself. So you can watch some videos on just how uh, cool Affinity Photo is and what some of the uh, more important features are here. Now, I haven't seen if there's any pricing information yet. However, there are other application Affinity Designer, which is a vector arts application that's also very nice, is selling for 49 US dollars. So I can't imagine this application is going to totally break your bank like a lot of most, like a lot of Adobe products. Well, you're not paying for a subscription or anything. So uh, honestly, I can't wait for this application to be released. I'm going to be a day one purchaser, and as long as things keep going the way they're going with it, I have to feel like I'm going to be making a full time switch to Affinity Photo. Now, obviously, it isn't part of my daily work flow yet, so I don't know if that is going to be the case, but I'm really liking it, and I already find myself wanting to use it all the time. So check out Affinity Photo. Like I said, I'm gonna post a link to this page where you can sign up for the beta. Hopefully you can get onto this beta. So check it out. I can't wait to do a series on Affinity Photo. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.